How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of Walk and Talk with Mikeyson. I don't know if it's a, a series or not, but it might need to be. It might need to be a series. My life is so interesting, you might want to walk and talk with me. Beautiful Saturday morning. I've had a great fall break uh, this past week. Work out every day. Went out of town, did some shopping for Halloween and stuff like that with the wife. I've had good food. I've stuck to my new wonderful way of eating. I'm still doing good. Trying to push myself a little extra sometimes, you know, every day. Maybe doing two walks a day, maybe doing two spins a day on the bike, whatever. Just trying to improve a little bit every day. I am a little tired. I can definitely tell that I'm doing something every day. I can definitely feel the worn out part uh, you know and if it wasn't for my arm problem I have hey son how you doing over there if it wasn't for my arm problem that I'm having which I think could be tennis elbow or some kind of tendonitis or something I don't know what it is if it wasn't for that man I'd feel pretty good of course my back still bothers me It'll never be fixed, but if my arms would just relax, I'd be okay. They're kind of hindering my progress, you know? I'm having to stick to lighter weights and stuff like that, which you know, is okay sometimes, but sometimes you want to push yourself. Sorry about that. It's actually, it's actually a little cool out today. Finally. Well, it cooled down last night. I went outside to mess around with my treadmill. Uh, it has a circuit breaker, unfortunately. Uh, and uh, it's faulty. It's all boogered up and old and whatever. So I ordered a new one this morning, but I was outside last night. I was actually using the treadmill and it stopped. So, uh, and I noticed then it was getting cooler. I was like, whoa. So, and this morning is pretty cool, which is about time. I mean, we're in the middle of October here. I don't like it any colder than this right here. I don't know what the temperature is right now, but this is like as cold as I'd want it to be. Like my hands are actually pretty chilly. <sighs> that gum. <sighs> Sorry about that. My nose is going crazy. <sighs> we can all relate. Get this on camera. So I just got off the bike. Got done spinning. I'm getting the walk going on. Unfortunately, I gotta pee. And not being secluded, I can't just go pee here on the side of the road. Or can I? I can't see I have not done it in this neighborhood. I can't see I have not not from it. I might have. Well, we won't talk about that. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, guys. So today, the plans are to get my workout done. And me, a nep my nephew, one of my nephews, and a friend of mine, we're gonna go Murray and go to a burrito place and go have burritos and 
I've only been there like one other time. It's over by the Murray, uh, by the campus, college campus. You know, go check out some campus girls or guys, whichever, I don't care. And, uh, what the French toast crunch was that? A freaking pterodactyl done come through here. Anyway, do that and then I'll either get my, my weight training done this morning or I'll do it after that. But then later in the evening we got movie night, you know, out here at our house and we sit out there with the projector and watch a scary movie. So far, not so good this year. I'm just picking random movies, low budget or whatever they are, and they've not been so good so far. So, so we got that tonight. Of course, we'll eat something while we're here, while we're there, and uh, enjoy the movie. And next weekend, we were going to go and see Halloween Kills. But we're actually going to watch that at home on the projector instead. And uh, just watch it on the Peacock, the app. And uh, watch it on there. And uh, enjoy it that way, I guess. We were going to go to the theater and see it, but... My wife brought that up, and she's like, yeah, let's just do it at home, save some money. Because a friend of hers gave her his information to watch it on Peacock, so uh, we'll just do that. It'd be really cool if my phone had image stabilization like my GoPro. That's about the only thing I like about from my GoPro 9 is the image stabilization. I don't like the fact fact I don't like the fact that it has audio issues and GoPro hasn't cared to resolve them. Instead, they've moved on to the GoPro 10, but the GoPro 9 has knowingly, has known uh, audio glitches that make pops and snaps and little, just, you know, throughout your video. Uh, worse so if you don't let the GoPro warm up before actually recording. You know, there's a button on top you can push when the GoPro's completely off and it automatically turns it on and starts recording. That's a nice feature, but you do that and you're susceptible to audio pops. And they are annoying. My very first action camera I got like three years ago. $80, no audio pops. An $80 budget no pro <laughs> you know action camera that has better audio as far as that goes uh, than a $450 name brand top of the line GoPro that's pretty bad wanted a GoPro ever since I started doing videos and stuff Back in like 2016. And I finally managed to come up with some money to get one. And I get it, you know, a few months ago now. And uh, I get it and I notice the audio pops. And I'm just like, uh, heartbreaking. And they pretty much don't acknowledge the issue other than just telling you to turn your camera on and let it warm up and that should help some. Oh yeah, thanks. 
That really helps. Some bright sun right there, guys. So yesterday, the good son-in-law that I am, uh, my father-in-law asked me to help him help uh, to put in his uh, dishwasher, dish machine replacement, and uh, so I did that. I don't mind helping if I can. Sometimes it's rough on me to get on the floor and that because of my hips and back and all that, but Outside of a little discomfort, I made it pretty well. It went smooth. And I like helping my mom and dad-in-law if I can. Good people. They've always helped people. So try to help people if you can. Not a cloud in the sky, guys. It's beautiful. A little coolness in the air. It's starting to feel like fall now. Oh, also, this week on my fall break, I renewed my driver's license, which I'd been dreading ever since the day I got my license because I had so many problems getting it we were fresh moving back into paris we moved to las vegas for four or for for two years and uh didn't have anything in our names really and well when you don't have nothing in your name it's kind of rough especially when you're getting your cdl so i had a rough time like in and out of there probably five or six times so I'd been dreading it for seven years, but I went in there uh, this past Tuesday, second day of fall break, and uh, everything went uh, super smooth. I couldn't believe it. I, I was just like, wow, mm, that's it. No problems. All good. So, got that done and taken care of. So, I'm good for another, I think it's till 2029. And by then, I'll be about retiring from driving a bus. I was told at one point that if you work for the county or city or whatever, you could retire with your full retirement by the age of 60 instead of having to go and, you know, work longer. But supposedly now I've heard that it's 30 years to get your full retirement. I ain't working another 30 years. I'm working 10 more years. Unless something crazy happens, unless I can start doing something on my own, making money on YouTube, or start my own thing at home doing fitness, or something. I ain't working for the man. Uh, past 60. Our house will be paid off if we're still alive and everything's good and we're in, everything's normal. Our house will be paid off in less, less time than that, actually. And, uh, of course, you're never going to get rid of doctor bills and hospital bills and all that. That's always going to be there. But they can bite my butt. For the type of service you get at those places around here, they can buy a bone. So the sun's behind me. Let's create a silly.
Feel the wet. Look at the sun back there. Sun. I love you to death, but then you cause me problems. But I love you. Yeah. And my wife's retiring by the time she's 60 as well, probably. I'm all for doing my own business as long as I can, as long as I'm alive. But I don't want to work for, you know, someone else on their terms for the, for another 15, 20 years. I just don't want to do it. And I don't, I don't want my wife to do it. I think you should be able to be free from all that with all the money you pay in and all the crap you go through from adult, you know, through your adulthood and all that. We should have some little bit of reward before we die. <sighs> that gum nose. Oh, also fall break. I also had my oldest granddaughter, Lil Miss Meadow. She stayed the night with us two nights. She just went home yesterday, Friday. Always love seeing her. Love her to death. She's always been my little buddy since she was born. She's my sweetie, sweet, sweet. We don't keep our youngest grandchild very often at all. I think we've only kept her overnight maybe once. She's a little bit more rambunctious. And... You know, with my wife having epilepsy and that, uh, and the medication she's on, she's, you know, she, it's hard for her to muster up the energy sometimes to run around and take care of kids. And, uh, you know, she's good to be working. And with me, I'm constantly, you know, if I'm not working out and walking and spinning and stuff like that, I'm you know, messing on the computer, I'm doing stuff, or shooting videos, or cooking, or straightening up the house, or doing something. So, it's hard to, you know, stay on top of, you know, a little bit more rambunctious kid. She is sweet as heck, though. Funny, goofy, amazing, just like her dad. Just like me. Love her to death. I'd love to see both my grandkids every day for about 30 minutes and then go on your way. About 30 minutes a day. <laughs> Love them. Same with my kids. I miss not being around them every day. Like, you know, when they're young and then when you grow up and you go out of your parent, you get out of your parents' house, it, uh, it kind of, you know, a big change for everybody and I was always big into hanging out with my kids and playing with them and doing stuff I ain't saying I was a perfect parent I did some rude cruddy things sometimes and said some rude cruddy things sometimes but so I wasn't perfect but I always enjoyed my kids I loved them to death like we never tried to get rid of them you know staying at someone's house or whatever and we took them with us everywhere and did everything with them so, you know, when you're around people like that all the time and from birth, it's hard to not have them around like that. And the same thing with, you know, a couple of my nephews. We had them around constantly. It's constant. And, you know, they're grown now, doing their own thing. Now it's just kind of periodically we'll do something. So... Gotta keep it going, guys. Look at my beautiful shadow. Well, I have one goal this year, 
and I mentioned it before, but whether you've seen it or not, don't know. Probably didn't. I don't get too many, uh, too much traffic in my videos and stuff. Especially this link in the video. But, I hope that by, by the time I turn 50, November 30th, that my little old body can muster up the strength to jog one mile. Now, I don't really practice or anything. About every 20 walks, I might jog, you know, 500 feet or something, you know. But uh, I got it, got it kind of mapped out in here. So I don't know if I can do it or not, but I have high hopes. I'm gonna try and get someone to follow follow along with me and document it. Maybe they can kind of pedal on my bicycle. Ooh, boy, I got a pee. Good lord. Oh, bird, I got a pee. Whew. And just like that, we turn around. I'm almost done. I just got to get back to the house. Everyone has time to take care of themselves throughout the day. We all need physical activity on top of our normal daily activities. So your body gets used to your normal daily activities and no longer really benefits you as much. Whether or not you like I did for almost 15 years, or whether you're standing at a register, or whether you're running a fast food business, or working as a nurse, or a custodial person, whatever the case, don't matter. You need more activity on top of what you're already doing in order to make a difference. We make all kind of time to sit on our butts and pretend like we're more tired than what we really are. We're tired. Sure, we get tired. But how much rest do we really need? And lay off all the junk food, guys. All the junk drinks. Lay off of it, man. Change your lives. Get healthier. You got one life. Live it. Uh, as healthy as you can, you know, nobody says we're going to live forever just because we try to be healthy. We just try to be healthy so we can live the best life while we're here. That's the goal. Well, I'm almost home, guys. I just got around this curve. And my house is right over there. So, get this walk done and see if we can do something else through our morning. Like I said, I may go ahead and get my full body workout in this morning. 
that way it's done so I'll probably get that done pretty soon anyway guys try to inspire someone throughout your day your week your month your year inspire yourself be an inspiration to yourself while you're at it, go check out Mikey Sun TV, M-I-K-I-E-S-O-N TV, all one word on YouTube. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Got all kind of good stuff on there that you're going to enjoy. I'll guarantee it. If not, you have problems. Big problems. 6-2 problems. Yeah. Huh. Sorry. All right, guys. Don't forget. Get up. Get out. Get rad. Do it to it. We'll see you later, guys. Have an amazing day. Bye.